I'm sending advice to my phone. She say I'm an asshole for no reason. Cause I just wanna be left alone. Quit being short and big hearted, baby. That shit ain't gonna get you too far. Hey, paranoid bitch. I'm Yo, YouTube, I am back. So if you can't tell, I'm gonna sound a little annoying because it's 2 a.m. But it is what it is. Uh, today we have a Go Shake tutorial. You know how to use my Albert Einstein because I really had no ideas, but you know, this just popped up. So I said, you know, why not? Why not? But before we begin, you already know what to do. Hit that like button and 500 likes and I'll make a new video. But yeah, man, let's get on with the video. So step number uno, get your clips, get your song and get your beats marked. Once you've done that, add your velocity. So I'm gonna right click on the clip, insert the move envelope, velocity, and you can copy me or do your own, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna go on the marker, add a point, then go three frames to the left and then go on the marker, go two frames to the right. Now we're gonna set the middle one to 300, the one on the right to 50. Then you wanna right click on this line, slow fade, and right click on this line, fast fade, and then repeat for all of the other markers. Now, once you're done your velocity, you might notice, oh sh**, it's not synced. So to do that, you just wanna drag the clip back and then in, back and then in, until it is synced. And boom, there's our sync. And once you have your velocity done, what you wanna do is cut on each of the marker. Once you've done that, make two new video tracks. Then you wanna ungroup all of these cut clips and you wanna copy the first one over the top like this. So now we're gonna become a doctor, you know, do some surgeon stuff. So what you wanna do is drag down the opacity a little, then go into pan on the crop, make sure the sync cursor is enabled, go to your first frame and then zoom in. You wanna drag this keyframe all the way to the end then at the very start, right click restore. Now you have two keyframes going from normal to big. So now there's two methods to make this move. First method is right clicking on this point, setting it to fast. This will make it zoom in fast. But what I like to do is like to use Vegas Pro Flow. This is a free plugin. I linked it in the description. What you wanna do when you install this, click on the clip that you want smoother graphs. Click here, select pan and crop, and then make your graph. So I already have one. It is like this. I click apply and there you go. You have your custom graph. So now once you have that, pick your length. I don't want this to be too long. I'm gonna do it like this. Then you wanna fade it out. So as you can see right now, there is nothing special on it. So we're gonna add some effects. First effect is S flicker. Drag that boy on. We're gonna set the amplitude to 600. We're gonna keyframe it. And at the very end, set it to zero, just like this. Now we're gonna apply S underscore glow. Drag that boy on like this. Now set the glow width to 0 0.010 and then the brightness to 2.4. Then you wanna keyframe it. Drag this keyframe all the way to the end. And at the very start, set it to zero like that. So now it's going to look already better. That is very sexy. Pause. But to make the little skin effect, I'm going to copy this over the top like this. Then you want to go and search for S underscore edge detect. It is this one. Drag that boy on. Then you want to drag it in front of pan and crop. Make sure it's like this. Then you can see how it looks like. So wiggle the edge to move around. Make sure it's like that. And then you can mess with the colors. So you don't have to be a mathematician to understand this. If you drag these around, this will change the colors. So I'm going to go with orange. But if you're feeling depressed, you know, a little emo, you can always go white. Because why not? Go back into pan and crop. Go to masking. Make sure it's enabled. And then you want to make a rough mask. So click on the pen tool. Draw a little mask. Make sure it's not too big, you know, we're not masking any whales. Once it's on the mask, enable feather type, both, and then feather percentage to the max, 50. So now close out of this and click on this little button. If you don't have it, you know, click on the burger icon at the visible button set, compositing mode checked. Click on this, click on add, and there you have it. So now you have your little skin, looks pretty nice, pretty nice. So now you can just copy everything over. So copy this one on the top, make sure it's the same length, fade it out. Now to copy it over, Right click on here, copy, and then over here, right click, selectively paste them into attributes, select both of these ones, okay. Same for the top one, copy this over, right click on here, selectively paste, these two ticked, okay. Now that's basically it, but I don't want to leave y'all on the edge, so I'm going to show it for the impact as well. It's pretty simple. So you want to first apply your impact, now copy the impact over like this, fade it out, right click on the value, Click the third option, this will fade it out quickly. Do the same thing as, you know, step one, go into pan and crop, position, zoom it in, drag it all the way back, restore, this will zoom in. So now you can do the flow frames method, click on it, pan and crop, apply, boom, there you go. So now we can pre-render 
and see how it looks like.